What's going on guys, Teddy Baldassar from teddybaldassar.com. If you're new to this channel, this is where we do a deeper dive into reviews of pieces available on our website as an authorized dealer. Today, we're gonna be looking at the Bulova Hack Watch. Pretty interesting field watch, everyday style watch for around 300 bucks. And in this video, do a deeper dive in this review of this piece, but also at the end, some things to consider on both the positive and negative end, and all relevant links will be in the description down below if you are interested in purchasing. But guys, let's take a closer look at this watch. First, looking at a rundown of the specs, we have a case size of 38 millimeters, thickness of 13.45 millimeters, lug width of 18 millimeters, lug to lug of 47 millimeters, water resistance of 30 meters, movement is a Miyota 82S0, crystal is mineral, and the price we're looking at $360, but if you do use promo code HACK at checkout, you can get a free strap up to $25 with your purchase of this watch. Just add the strap into your cart, put in the code, and that'll be all good to go. Now, first, before looking into this hack watch, I think it's important, just given the nature of this watch, to look at Bulova as a company overall. So Bulova was founded back in 1875 in the United States, a country that, despite there being a lot of enthusiast interest in watches, is usually not the epicenter for where watchmaking companies really arise. Now, the mastermind behind Bulova was Joseph Bulova. He was an immigrant of the Czech Republic and really became a trailblazer in the watch industry with his transition from taking pocket watches into wrist watches and seeing the trends going in that direction. And then in addition to that, also being one of the leaders in terms of advertising, both on radio and television. In fact, the first TV commercial ever actually aired was by Bulova, playing before a baseball game between the Brooklyn Dodgers and the Philadelphia Phillies. And it cost the company just $9 to run the ad and actually coined that term, America runs on Bulova time. But Bulova has an interesting timeline as a brand. We had the David Scott Bulova lunar pilot that went actually on the Apollo 15 space mission. And then in addition, seeing some really interesting stuff done with their production of military timepieces, which is a perfect segue into this hack watch that we have here today. Now, Bulova during the World War II was one of the main suppliers to the Allied forces for field watches that were actually issued to soldiers on the ground. And much of the design here is really paying tribute to those classic designs that the brand was creating. And even in the name itself, Hack, which we'll get a little bit more into detail what that means and why that was important, especially when tying it in to these military style pieces. Now, first when looking at this piece on the wrist and just overall, so we have this kind of darkened stainless steel case version. There's a couple different dial variations to choose from, but at first glance, very attractive piece. When putting this one on the wrist, we have a pretty wearable case size. So 38 millimeters with that case size, pretty traditional for a lot of other field watches on the market. And then also extending out to 47 millimeters lug to lug. So pretty wearable for a variety of wrists out there. I would recommend this for small wrists, say around six inches in terms of diameter and up. And I can see a lot of people enjoying it anywhere up from there. In addition, you're also getting reasonable thickness. A lot of this is gonna be coming from the dome mineral crystal on this. You don't really feel that thickness. This does come on a NATO strap here. It's a leather NATO, at least on this version with blackened hardware to kind of match that case. And I do recommend if you did want it to sit a little bit flatter, you could actually even cut that underneath keeper to allow this to wear a little bit slimmer on the wrist. But overall, a lot of that thickness is going to be coming from the mineral crystal. And like many field watches, wearability is one of the first thing that comes to mind. And this one succeeds in that area very well. Taking a closer look at the case finish, coming in a more brush style here across the bezel, the lugs, as well as on the side of the case. And it is going to have a bit of a reflective surface, but it's gonna look very nice with that dark and stainless steel here. Between the lugs, we have a nice versatile 18 millimeter lug width, which is going to allow a variety of different straps to be paired here. Again, definitely take advantage of that discount. Use promo code HACK at checkout. You can get a free strap with your purchase of this watch. Now to look at the right side of the case, you notice you have kind of an oversized crown here, which is going to really allow you to hand wind this movement. And then when you pull out the crown, that starts lending into the idea of what is the title of this watch all about? As what it will do is when you go ahead and set that time, you can adjust the hour and the minute hand when you do set it at that position, but it will also stop the second hand, or in other words, hack that second hand. This is gonna be useful from a modern sense of setting precise time, but what this was really useful when looking at military issued timepieces was synchronizing clocks across all the different soldiers so that they can work in unison to say attack an enemy, not to try to get really dark and gloomy here, but it was very useful in those type of aspects. And many of these Miyota movements don't actually have hacking as a added feature, so nice to see it included here. Now, looking through the actual mineral crystal here, we have a clean view of a beautiful, just pretty contrasty, typical field style layout with this overall dial. Now, first kind of pointing out a few different things that will initially pop out at you. 
One is the idea of that simple hour numerals that going around the outside and kind of that Arabic design. You're going to also see loom markers at each one of those corresponding hour numerals. Inside, you're gonna see then a 24 hour track in red, which really works well with the black dial surface as well as the darkened stainless steel case. At the center, we have a cathedral style handset containing loom to match those loom markers along the outside. And then a really simple steel second hand. At the six, you have the writing of automatic, and then in a classic bull of a font, you then have it written at the 12 o'clock. The loom could be a little bit better here. That's one downside, but from a design point of view, I think they really knocked this out of the park. I love the touch of red, which creates a bit of a stark contrast from the rest of the simple white printing across the dial. Flipping this watch over, we have a simple stainless steel case back, screw down, protecting the Miyota automatic 82S0 within. So Bolova is underneath the Citizen Watch Group umbrella, which also houses Miyota, which is a movement provider, Japanese movement provider, providing some great access to entry level automatics, as well as their 9000 series, which are nice, just four hertz movements that can be featured in watches, say sub $1,000 typically. From the looks department, these movements typically leave a lot to be desired, but in terms of reliability are really solid for the money. Now this movement is gonna operate at 21,600 vibrations per hour, three hertz, Again, featuring hacking, so stopping that second hand when you pull out the crown to the farthest position. Also features hand winding at that first position. It's going to come with a 42-hour power reserve. And then out of the box for these, minus 20 to plus 40 seconds a day. That said, I tested this particular one just to use some anecdotal evidence. This one was running in the single digit. We were looking at about six seconds a day in terms of accuracy. Don't take that to the bank, but just to provide a little bit of background. Miyota movements are kind of all over the board sometimes. They have that kind of very conservative overall range in which they're going to fall in, but typically they're going to really outperform that. Now just to unpack here and just some things to consider for this watch, I think where this watch sits in the price range and where it's at around $300 and where it fits in looks, which I think is probably the leading force behind this piece being very compelling, is certainly making it worthy, I think, to be on the radar for many people that either need to add a field watch, don't have a crazy budget to spend on one. This is definitely one I think to put towards the center. I, don't, I almost think it combines aspects of, say, the Hamilton Khaki Field collection, and then the Alpinist, and then fuses it together in a more affordable package. I think the water resistance, that does leave a lot to be desired. I think 30 meters is unfortunately a little low here, and then also the loom could be a little bit better. But when you tie in the history, you tie in the looks here, the different dial variants to choose from, no-nonsense movement within, and falling in around $300, I think it's a nice entry door into the world of field watches from a brand that probably gets overlooked a bit too much. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Really would appreciate that. Also, hit the link in the description if you are interested in learning more about this piece and also purchasing it. We're an authorized dealer of all the brands that we carry, full factory warranty, and one of the most secure places you can buy a watch online. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.